we were coming to see in Africa the most primordial things we could see, the most primordial behavior, in a sense trying to find out who we are in our primordial behavior and essence. And the reason we failed so miserably is because we're not part of anything that's been going on in any line genetically of zebras or wildebeests or warthogs or elephants or dolphins. We're the human experiment that's going on. And we will only succeed in the human experiment when we start doing what humans do. The same way the gorillas are a success and the reason why we don't have a continuation of all the ancient things is they completed their experiment. And, and I think the thing that we loved in them was the tenderness of the eyes in almost all of the animals and the tenderness of looking in people's eyes and seeing our own basic selves and that lower consciousness, that little, that little kid in there. Like some of us who saw the real little uh, gorilla, your heart goes out to it, and I think mother in all of us comes out and goes, I, I could mother that one. I'd like to close this with just uh, a very short excerpt from a poem that probably would exemplify what I've been talking about. There's a lot more that goes before this, but it comes towards the end that says, Freedom and reason make us men. Take this away, what are we then? Mere animals are just as well, because beasts may think of heaven or hell. Be rich, be shame.